pretty much, right? Mm -hmm. Is that where I'm going? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, now, you mentioned at the beginning, and this is one of the reasons why this industry is going to continue to get bigger and bigger, because number one, there's more and more teams popping up. There's more and more clubs popping up. Um, and that's just striking more demand on, on training. So this is actually one of the industries that is just it's going to continue to grow. Um, I see it with the coaches I work with. Um, and I'm seeing it like when I do interviews, everything. It's, it's just an industry that's going to continue to grow. Now, it's obviously going to bring a lot of um, challenges because, as you mentioned, field space the more more teams there are, the less space we have as for trainers to, to use, okay? So essentially what we wanna do is we wanna transition most of our training into groups and that's pretty much what we teach in, in our program. How can we now get 30 or 40 clients that you're working one-on-one -on -one and now create them in, into groups? I think what you need to think about is how many kids you want at these camps. So ideally the way I look at it is what, what's the number you're most comfortable with? Okay. A lot of the coaches in our program, when they run camps, it's anywhere between 8 to 12 players. Um, it's a good number because you can provide a lot of personal attention to the client. Mm -hmm. um, and also, it's easier to manage. So in your case, for someone that has never run a camp before, maybe starting with that number would be a good start in. Uh, place and then once you get more confident at running camps then then we we obviously um uh, that gets bigger so instead of going 8 to 12 you might decide to go 15 to 25 and so on and so on but obviously as as you know working in a club like the more players you have the more other coaches you will need to bring in and that's a completely different uh, topic because now you have to bring in extra staff. You have to manage people. But I think for the beginning, go with a number you're comfortable with. So say 10, for example. Okay, Say you want to work with 10 and, and run a camp with 10 players. Okay, You start off there and then you go, you design how you want the camp to look. All right, so what, what, uh, what day, what time do you want that camp to run? How many players do you want at that camp? Uh, what do you want that camp to focus on? Is it going to be just a, a generic camp where parents drop their kid and it's like daycare? Or is it going to be solving a specific problem? Where they come and they're, they're, they're improving technically or they're improving their skills and there's, there's kind of a theme related to that camp, right? Now, the more specific you are, the more you differentiate yourself from everyone else. Because in the summer, everyone's going to be doing camps. Right. Um, but if your camp has a specific purpose and it's solving a specific problem, then it becomes unique and you can charge more because you're solving a problem. Mm -hmm. If it's just daycare, then essentially it's, you know, you're going to attract, you will get clients, but you'll probably attract clients that you, you're going to, are going to give you a massive headache and you probably won't want to do camps ever again because it's just going to be a really bad experience. So start it small, go maybe eight to 10 players to begin with. Yeah. Right? Pick, pick a, a day and time you want that camp to run, maybe a nine to 12, nine to three, or you maybe you just want to do two hours per day, right? Monday to Friday. Uh, find the location a location that you can run it out of, okay? And then start to promote it, right? Now, a best best way to do it, if, you, if you're already working with eight uh, families, right, those would be a good uh, starting stone with them, okay? Reach out to them and say, this is what I'm looking to run in the summer, okay? This is what the camp's going to involve. This is what's included. Would you guys be interested in bringing a friend to that camp? So essentially you can set up a referral uh, type of program with them in that if they refer someone to you that, that pays, then they get the camp either 50% off or free, depending on, on what you want to do.